Welcome to Baxter's Blades. You are entering the tiger pit. Beware. Well, everybody, this is uh, my f finale for the week in my highlighting case cutleries series. And this is the Natural Smooth Bone Stars and Stripes. Um, I am feeling much better. Coughing less, uh, my congestion's not as bad, but my ear's still plugged up. Another glorious day at work tomorrow. So I have three here. This is an awesome series. Now, you may have seen Stars and Stripes in their synthetics. They have white synthetic jig. Uh, I think they have a smooth synthetic also, um, but I prefer bone. And this is the natural smooth bone. And it's mostly white. There is um, some specking in it. It's definitely a natural bone. And it will discolor and possibly yellow over time. So the first one I was thinking about was this full-size copper lock in Borncliffe. And I pre-ordered it and it took forever. It took forever. I ordered this for Cheeto Bandito. Forgetting that he had mentioned he had already ordered one. Um, but was fine with me because I did want a carbon steel single bladed razor. So this was my actual first one. Let's get in there on that stars and stripes shield. It's kind of like a razor Barlow. I mean, the bolster is elongated. Nice polished back spring. You can see some yellowing on the back there. They're all gonna be different. Don't know what you're gonna get. Beautiful half stop. Nice snap. Carbon steel. When I first got this, so that dark speck there, I was getting a little rust. And so I quickly got that off and saturated it with oil but it was kind of coming back so i chopped up an apple with this and you can see how that spot has gotten extra patina so i'm wondering if there's a little extra carbon in that spot i'm not sure but i don't see the rust spot coming back nice little blue color there um, I've watched more than a few videos on this knife, and I was really pleasantly surprised with the centering, the fit and finish on it, but not everybody's gotten a perfect knife from Case. I've seen some really bad ones out there, unfortunately. So, you know, if you get into that situation, uh, send it back to Case. They'll take care of you. I have yet to send one back to Case. So I cannot speak from experience, but you know, they do warrant their knives. And if you get a badly, poorly centered blade and gaps, I would make an attempt for sure. If you cannot exchange it for another one, if you order online. Other than that, go out and look for them in public, if you can. Now up here in the Northwest, we do not have the events that you guys do in southern the south and mid-america we do not have the dealership network that you guys do one of the reasons why i order most of mine online full size copper lock she's a beauty let's get in there on that you can see the black little specking in the bone beautiful stars and stripes american flag case shield I don't like overboards, you know, like billboarding of the American flag all over the handle and everything, but this is just very classy. Very cool. Here's the pile side. This whole series is carbon steel. They don't call it 1095, but it's very close, whatever it is. It does get a nice patina. I have yet to get a patina on this. The Warncliffe is very pointy, unlike some of their copper locks and trappers. They are getting better about that. 
Beautiful long pole. Absolutely love this full-size copper lock. Carried it a bit during 4th of July. Also incredible fit and finish. You know, I, I don't know if I get lucky. I have no idea. So I had to pick up the full-size trapper. Got this the other day. Same shield, same carbon steel. Beautiful. Will I pick up more? <sighs> Possibly. You know, I have 15 full-size trappers by case, not including my Frost, Rough Rider, Roper, and I have 15 mini trappers. It's a lot of trappers. I need to bump up my uh, Sodbuster Jr. and Barlow collection. <laughs> Again, recently just got this. Very nice edge on it. Very nice blade grind. Let's check out the tip. Not too rounded, not too bad. I don't mind a little rounded to my tips on the trappers. They don't have to be super sharp and pointy. I have plenty of Rough Riders that are like that. And then the scalpel. For taking off the newt sec. The spade blade everybody's favorite now my my good friend brad who loves case knives he just cannot get behind the trapper pattern because of the spade blade now it is odd it's very long and slender but great great food knife i mean a lot of times you know you carry a knife to work and this actually was my work carry today which today's Thursday, this video will probably come out later. And this is the only knife I grabbed. The only knife. I usually carry two. Now I could have put this uh, in a sheath and put one in my pocket. I just didn't really feel like a bunch of crap in my pocket today because of uh, the work I was doing. Uh, so, I mean, what more do you need than a trapper? You got two blades right here. Sometimes I, I'll just carry a 75 Stockman because you got three blades on those. They're absolutely fantastic. But I knew that I could get through the day with just this knife. And it worked great. Now the series is not to be confused with white bone, even though it is white and it comes white. Natural is naturally white. But like I said, you can see like a yellow in there. Very nice series by case. These are all 2024 edition knives. I guess I do collect newer case knives. A lot of people are down on the newer ones. They say they're not quite as good as the older vintage ones. And, and it's it, it, there's some truth to that for sure. Uh, the pulls and the snaps on the old case knives are absolutely fantastic. You're going to pay a hefty premium for some good ones. Now, there are deals out there, and I do bid on them, and I keep getting outbidded. Now, do I want to spend $200 for a vintage case knife? Not really. Especially when I can get these newer ones that are actually really nice in the $50 range. This is probably I cannot remember what I got this for, but it probably was about $54, $55. These all cheaper than Rosecraft. Now, this was a pricey piece. I did mention in my review of the uh, old full-size copper locks video that I had posted that, um, that my Warncliffe uh, Purple Barn Board was my most expensive. This is actually my most expensive. These were $90. Uh, I had a discount code, and I think I ordered a slip with it to get free shipping, so I probably paid 80 something dollars for it. I can't, I can't remember. But a very nice piece. I'd say well worth it at $90, seeing at what full-size copper locks it go for on eBay. But just another look at that awesome shield. Um, I'm a big Clip Point and Warren Cliff fan, for sure. They just are the best of both worlds. 
I have three Warren Cliffs, three clip point full size copper locks. I have five minis and they're all clip points. I'm not sure why we haven't seen the Warren Cliff on the minis. Maybe Case will make one one day if we're lucky. Well, I don't want this video to go on too much longer. So you guys all stay sharp, be kind, and take chances. Take care.